Arthur is a show about acceptance. Hi, Arthur. Would you like a ride to school? Great. Just Arthur. They tackle tough topics in an effective way that kids can not only relate to, but also learn from and apply to their everyday lives. It all started with a book series by Mark Brown. In the very first book, Arthur's Nose. We meet Arthur, and he isn't very happy with his nose. In fact, he's in quite a hurry to change it. As we move throughout the story, we learn that he's not only insecure about his nose, but he's taking his classmates' criticism to heart, which is a struggle many kids have, and part of what makes this series so effective. In the end, Arthur decides to keep his nose to the relief of his friends, and he learns to accept that his nose is just one aspect of himself that makes him unique. A few years later, an episode would air that would introduce viewers to a new character with his own set of challenges. Carl, what did you do? In the episode when Carl met George, we meet a rambunctious rabbit who behaves a little differently than all the other characters we've been introduced to. George, a well-established character which happens to be a moose, is baffled by this new kid. As the story unfolds, we learn that Carl has Asperger's syndrome, a now dated term, and the brain, Alan, explains this to George using an engaging narrative that really clearly outlined some of the major symptoms of the disorder. They framed it as a space story, and that framing just made so much sense. Suddenly, George got it, and not only did George get it, but so did kids all over the country. George approached Carl with a lot more empathy, and they became best buds by the end of the episode. This is important because in a 12-minute chunk of time, they not only introduced a brand new concept, but they also challenged viewers to be an ally and showed a very clear example about how it's done right. Fast forward a few more years to Mr. Ratburn's wedding. Mr. Ratburn and the special someone. Mr. Ratburn, once a pretty one-dimensional teacher character. I thought you might want to see the spring reading list. Oh, are you having cake? Now has grown to be someone we as an audience really love and respect. Mr. Ratburn gets a call. One of the kids asks, Who's that? Mr. Ratburn explains it's for a wedding, for himself. Now, once the initial shock of Mr. Ratburn having a life outside of school finally wears off, the gang starts trying to figure out who he could possibly get be getting married to. They make a whole bunch of assumptions based on the actions of one particular character named Patty. Green tea steeped for precisely three and a half minutes in order of dry white toast and some clean silverware. Who was pretty uptight just like Mr. Rapper. As the story progresses, the kids start trying to steer Mr. Rapper away from Patty and possibly into the arms of Mrs. Turner, the local librarian, who is a much nicer character. My dear Padge Tuner. Along the way, we meet Patrick. <laughs> and Patrick is, I mean, he seems like he's a pretty nice guy. Towards the end of the episode, we find out that Actually, Mr. Ratburn isn't marrying Patty, and it's actually Patrick, which the kids find a relief because Patrick is a lot nicer. And then the episode ends with everybody dancing and having a good time. So this episode aired with a lot of backlash, and eventually a lot of local stations ended up pulling it from their lineup because they didn't feel that it was a conversation that their areas were willing to have. You know, the episode tried to keep it subtle all the way up until the big reveal, but Mark Brown really stood behind the story and highlighted the importance of representation in media. Uh, I'm sure I'm not any different than millions of other families around the world um, that have people that we love who are gay, who are young families raising children. And, you know, it makes me very sad that these young families uh, are not really well represented or hardly represented at all in our media. In the end, all of these stories teach us the importance of embracing not only others for their differences, but ourselves as well. We all have something unique about us, and as long as we come from a place of compassion and curiosity, then we can get along with each other. What's that? You did this! Where I come from, doing that on a bike means bring me a cabbage, fast! I left the tub running, bye!